You have a new message from an ancient treasure. When our eyes meet these bronze heads, it is like a chance encounter with someone from a new planet. Their distinctive features set them apart from ordinary people. Without exception, they all have a dignified appearance, protruding eyes and thin lips. They all have pierced ears. In ancient times, earrings were most likely a sign of high status. These 57 bronze heads of various sizes are enigmatic. According to our understanding, they can be classified into three groups as domed, flat-topped, and those with golden surfaces. The domed heads have headbands. Some have a tie in the rear, like a coiled bun. The flat tops have braid-shaped designs in the back. Most of them wear simple, unadorned hats save one. This one is decorated with circular patterns. Such a feature is typical of the Shu people from the Sichuan region. Only four head portraits with thin gold surfaces have been unearthed, but most of the gold has already worn away. Only one remains intact. Gold was hammered into delicate pieces of foil and carefully attached to the surface using a mixture of lime and raw lacquer as an adhesive. Since ancient times, gold has been a symbol of power. Dazzling gold highlighted one's exalted status. Of all these amazing artifacts taken from the Sanxing Dui site, this bronze head stands alone unique. Different from the other heads, it has gentle facial features. The top of its head is smaller in diameter to match its headwear, though the headwear is now missing. By our guesses, by our imagination, we attempt to speak with these figures. The general consensus is that this is a female. Peeling back the layers of their godlike features, we struggle to dig into their human nature. Where did they come from? Why are they so different from us? The civilization of the ancient kingdom of Shu has always been regarded as a regional culture and it rarely appeared in official historical records of the larger Chinese civilization. So when these glorious relics suddenly appeared in the world stage, some tended to believe that these bronze hands were gazing at their ancestral homes. In the late Warring States period, the ancient Shu along with several other states were annexed by the state of Qin. But before this, the ancient kingdom of Shu was ruled by the unity of theocracy and kingship, with strong atmospheres of sorcery culture. This life-size statue of a standing human is believed to have held the highest rank among all these figures. Perhaps he was the leader who wielded both supreme power in the secular world and the ability to communicate with the deities. In the late Sanxing Dui civilization, the Central Plains region was under the rule of the Shang dynasty. The Shang people made bronze weapons, as well as food and wine vessels in large quantities. In this bloody era, they sacrificed people to the gods. However, in the sacrificial pits of Sanxing Dui, no human or animal remains have been found, let alone any weapons. Could it be that the ancient Shu created a civilization ahead of its time? one that exuded a higher plane of human nature. This was possibly the secret of their greatness, or instead the seeds of their downfall. Why did the ancient Shu civilization possess such extraordinary imagination? When making eye contact with their bronze faces, their motions seem to go beyond words and answer riddles buried in our souls. Together, we are part of this world. We are human as they are. You have more new messages waiting. <laughs>